nerds, what's up? Today we are doing the A to Z bookish survey and I saw Momo do this from the booktube girl but I don't remember if I was tagged but I'm just gonna pretend I was tagged and get into it. But first, I need a fact of the day. Ooh, I know. All of our primate ancestors all have a baculum and we don't have one and it's unknown when it went away because fossilization doesn't really occur on the tiny bones the smaller the bone the less likely it is to preserve and so we've never seen one preserved in any of the homo species but that doesn't mean they weren't there so we don't know when it disappeared but let me tell you what a baculum is i find it funny that we call a human boner a boner because we don't have a bone in our penises. Our primate ancestors do have a bone in their penis. And it's called a baculum. I think that's funny and it's my favorite fact of uh, primate evolution and ha, ha ha, boners. Let's get into this tag. <laughs> Probably I'm going to have to say James Patterson because I've read a lot of his books, but he also has a lot of books, so that's a really unfair assessment. Sequels suck. Oh, I know. Crown of Midnight. Crown of Midnight, I've picked it. Best sequel ever, and the books just keep getting better, honestly, so like, best series ever. But this, it did not have second book syndrome like I thought it would, and it was amazing, and it was glorious, and I loved, loved, loved it. I am currently reading two books, one of which is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, and I am not going to go get these books because they're really far away from me and it's hot in here because I turned off the AC for you and I hate you all. I'm reading City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. I'm only like 72 pages in and then I'm also reading an ethnography which is by something Turnbull who's the anthropologist that did it and it is called The Forest People. It is about the Mabuti people which are the pygmies that live in Central Africa in the forest. I really love drinking tea. I'm drinking tea right now. I'm almost done with it. But that's usually only in the mornings because this is really the only time that I like drinking hot tea. But I do often drink a strawberry acai refresher or a cool lime refresher from Starbucks. If I go to Starbucks, I like drinking those. I also am a huge fan of drinking wine or rum and coke at the end of the night if I'm reading at night. So it depends on the time of day when I'm reading. Look, is this a joke? Physical books, hello? E-readers are convenient to take to school though, I will say. Noah Shaw would have been actually perfect. But honestly, Will Harrendale, like in his assholery time, because I was real into assholes. Cut Both Ways. I just did a review on my channel last week of this book. It was amazing, but it has really, really controversial reviews, and a lot of people really don't like it. But I actually loved it, so I'm glad I read it. Didn't listen to all of the suckers out there because they suck, and it was good. I'm gonna say both of the books by Lily Parody, Ignite by Lily Parody and Volition by Lily Parody are both amazing books, but Lily is a new author and so she's not really well known, but they are amazing. Lily is also the kindest person I have ever met. Definitely discovering booktube. Discovering booktube just like blew up my reading adventures. I used to be that person who just like reread the same books over and over again because I didn't know what was good so I just like read Harry Potter and then I finished the seventh one and then I'd read it again. That's what I did. Cut Both Ways by Carrie Meslerobian. I am not really into the adult mystery books like James Patterson has that whole series, the Alex Cross series. He also has like the first degree, second whatever, murder books. Books like that as well as books like Sarah Dessen and Nicholas Sparks both write really sad endings. I had to really, 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 really be in the mood for that. If I've picked up one Sarah Dessen book, I've picked up every Sarah Dessen book. Same thing goes with Nicholas Sparks. So like, meh. The Game of Thrones books, all of them, any of them. I don't know which one is the longest one, but I've read all of them except for I Dance with Dragons. All the Right Places by Jennifer Niven. Ouch. It hurt my soul. Ow. One. This one right here. It's tall. I do have a bookshelf tour which is out of date now, but I can link that down below. I plan to buy a new one to replace this one that will have an extra shelf, and then eventually I want to get a matching one of the same shelf, but right now money is a thing and it is a problem, and so I'm not doing that yet. Harry Potter series, and also Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Jabotsky. I really like reading on my couch, cuddled up, preferably with a blanket. I will 
run the AC high as can be so that it's cold in the house so that I can put a blanket on because that's how I enjoy reading. That's how I enjoy doing mostly anything. I just love having a blanket on me. I have one that's not from a book and it's on my body. We read to know we are not alone by C.S. Lewis. Also, in this moment we were infinite because live in the moment and Stephen Shabosky is a god. I regret not reading the Twilight rewrite that Stephanie Meyer made with it Edward's point of view when it came out online because I was so adamant like I will not read Midnight Sun until it is published because I was supporting her and so I never read it because she never published it and now I just don't even care anymore but I really wish that I had read it. The Raven Cycle by Maggie Steve Otter. I haven't Finish. I've only read the first book. <sighs> okay, I'm only gonna pick one of the J.K. Rowling stories. Prisoner of Azkaban, Perks of Being a Wallflower, and Volition by Lily Parody. Unapologetic fangirl for the fucking Harry Potter series. Like, are we kidding? I have a tattoo of it, and when I met my boyfriend at Applebee's, which is where we met, he asked me what it was, and I told him it was a Harry Potter thing, and then he started calling me Hermione for ever, and then kept calling me a witch. It sounds really mean, but it wasn't, I swear. We have shadows, it just came out, and I'm excited to have it in my hands, even though I can't read it yet, but I was all jittery about it. I used to fold my pages, like bunny ear, or what is that called? Like on the corners? I used to do that. I don't do it anymore, though. I also have a really bad habit of using this as my bookmark. And so then they get all fucked up in my backpack or purse because I keep them on instead of leaving them at home like you're supposed to. And I also have a bad habit of just like fucking forgetting bookmarks and losing them and then not having a bookmark and then using a receipt. Twenty seventh book is The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, which I read earlier in this year. We buddy read it all together, the Bibliothon girls and I, and it was decent. I think I gave it a three and a half stars out of five. It was kind of slow. Two things. One was I paid Emma to buy my Queen of Shadows book because she went and met Sarah J. Mass. She got a sign for me, so ha. Huh which is why it's coming in the mail and I didn't get it already. But I also recently purchased the September Owl Crate box, so I, I think I bought those on the same day. So I am excited to get that because it's Leading Ladies this month and I will be doing an unboxing, of course. Don't really stay up that late, but I'm going to talk instead about a book that made me late for work because I wouldn't close it, and that was Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. It was amazing and I just kept wanting to read it and I wanted to finish it. This one did it too, like, uh, they were both so good and I just wouldn't go to work because <laughs> I wanted to finish the book. I was like 20 pages away, but 20 pages takes a lot longer when, than you think and uh, yeah, so I was late to work. And that is the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to comment down below any of the answers to these questions that you want to do. Who do I tag? I tag Lovely Like Laura and Casty over at Casty Voynich. I hope I say your name right. Tell me if I'm wrong. The Bibliothon Girls, if you haven't done it yet, I think none of you have done it. I tag Latham, Samantha from Samantha's Books, Megan Precourt, Michael Booklion, Molly, and that's everyone, I think. I think that's enough. That's enough people, right? That's everyone I'm going to tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. And all of the videos that I mentioned that I would link will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!